So, you know, they always say you get what you ask for. And in this case, earlier today, when I shot that video about deer bands I have reviewed and will review, send me your shit. I got that today from Antimatter, who are St. John's newest heavy hitters. Um, and they have just released an EP back on January the 2nd, I believe. Um, and these guys are probably the most versatile metal band out there. Uh, in, in this city, that is. You know, you have some bands that kind of do some fun things here and there. But with Antimatter, it's way more focused. And I'll get to that momentarily. Formed by Jeremy Gogan and Justin Murphy. They pretty much started this band mostly as like an instrumental thing because I don't know if they knew where they wanted to go with it. So, oh, I buzzed a little out of control here. So, and they had brought in another guitar player named Scott Krause. I had originally at one point went and jammed with them twice on vocals. Um, it was a lot of fun. Way out of my comfort zone. But... You know, it didn't work out because at the time I was with the, uh, my other band and it was going to be not a struggle to, it, it would have been, it was going to be a lot harder to get to two different jams, but at the end of the day, they have their man and this guy's so good. I'll coming up to that now. Uh, Kevin showed up to play bass and Kenneth rounds out on vocals. Different styles are, are done in this are all over this EP we have groove melodic death metal progressive power metal brutal sludge now brutal sludge isn't really a term isn't really a genre or a subgenre technically I mean sludge is but it's really brutal when when it comes to what they play and yet they only classify themselves as antimatter so there's no real sort of uh like there's it's not some sort of like you know some new genre or new thing they're just antimatter <coughs> and you wait till you see the new uh wait till you see their uh, album cover oh baby now the goods of this ep with crushing guitar riffs disgusting breakdowns i mean putrid um, of the doom sludge tempo that really just punishes the riffs or punishes the senses I should say with the riffs and then it can kick back right into some blast beats and some of these mind numbing grindy guitar riffs that'll just just make you go holy shit this is so good um, the EP they released is just on a processed bass or like their demo is it, it's only processed it's not actually mastered there's nothing wrong with that because as I said in my video, if you send me something, at least give me a heads up on, okay, if you're wondering why it sounds like this, this is probably why. Now, they have four tracks, and I'm going to bring it, I've got the. I've got their YouTube up just here now. Um, let me just kind of snap it back here real quick. So, we they have Hunger Games, which is one track, if it'll ever pull it up for me here. It's being quite diffy McCall. No, 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 no. And we're in a struggle for us. Total struggle. You see, my internet's acting goofy. Regardless, um, basically, we, as I said, we have Hunger Games. There's Last Resort, I think. Not the, you know, not the other Last Resort that I'm sure you've heard before. Just give me one sec here. I'm going to try and bring this up. Like I said, my uh, yeah, now internet's going to act goofy. Regardless, moving on. There's a lot of strong writing and structures that sound very much like the death metal vein and mellow death. And there's nothing wrong with that at all. In Hunger Games, there's a early, there, the, the intro is really based off of uh, really that, the, the Progressive power metal, that's where I get there. And I'll get to that in a moment or two. So with Jeremy and Justin really being the main two guys, and this is no slight on the other three, Scott, uh, Kevin, and Kenneth, I already know what I'm going into when it comes to this. Technicality, proficiency, 
low tune and brutal as fuck. Kenneth's vocals, I really like. Now, I mean, I thought I did okay, but this kid is unreal. He's got that power and low guttural, but you can still hear what he's saying. If you listen carefully, you can understand what this guy's saying. And that is very uh, George uh, Fisher or Corpse Grinder from Cannibal Corpse. That's what I get from him. But there's also this real sort of there's this he gets into this sort of proto higher screams that really it sounds like Chuck from Death. So when I can, when you throw out those two names and kind of put them in, and of course you know the higher screams are sort of, are, are they're like they're not double tracked. But they're just done as sort of like a background or an accent piece. It really sounds fucking good. Like, I mean, really fucking good. Um, and as I said, with at the start of Hunger Games, you have this proto-progressive power metal thing. He even hits a falsetto. I was like, that's really, really good. That's really fucking good that you can add that into, uh, into a death, into a, basically into a death metal song. And cut it right off the hop because we haven't heard anything like that since death that I know of but I don't listen to a whole lot of death metal and what I do it's usually in like malevolent creation gore guts and uh you know like death cannibal you know cryptopsy that sort of thing and I don't hear a whole lot of high screams I mean you know once in a blue like I mean I, in Fulbophile there's this part where Lord Worm kind of goes into the higher spit but it's not a whole lot now, that also being said, the top track, right off the bat for me, is Maggot Infested. It's got this total fucking Nile, Morbid Angel-esque type of thing going on, and it just sounds so fucking amazing. Holy shit, the breakdown? <clears throat> Barf. So good. The bad side of things. <clears throat> Problem is... I don't have enough to say bad about it. There is one little gripe, and it's just something I'm hearing. And, of course, because it's processed, maybe I'm not hearing it because, you know, the mastering's not done. Really, there isn't enough songs for me to listen to and enjoy. I need more is what it is. And, yes, I know it's an EP. Yes, I know it's a demo. But I need more. But as Jer as uh, Jeremy mentioned to me earlier, because Jeremy and I go about way the fuck back. Uh, to when we were just babies, when he didn't have a beard and I was skinny. I know that's hard to believe when you see a fat man sitting in front of you. <laughs> um, also, and as they say, it's like I said, it's just it's either just me or the fact that it's processed. The bass doesn't seem pronounced. Yes, I'm a former bass player, and yes, I I get picky now. Jared, shoot me a message after you see this. Maybe it's all low end of the guitars, or I'm just not hearing it. And it's got nothing to, it, it's not anything to do with the, uh, the MP3 that he sent me earlier or the YouTube thing. It's just, maybe I did, maybe I didn't catch it. Maybe I didn't catch it, which, hey, that's fine. Not a big deal. Once it's fully mastered, then we'll go from there. Um, and I, as I say, it's not that detrimental at this current stage, but you know, shoot me messages. Let me know. <laughs> Last words. The fact that this, as I say, is only a processed version of the EP and not fully mastered, it's fucking excellent. If you're looking for really fucking crushing, brutal, sludgy fucking breakdowns, they're in here. If you're looking for blast beats and really powerful death metal vocals, they're there. Especially, it's very vintage-y from, from what I'm hearing. With the drums, they're really, they're not fully up front. They sit exactly where they should be in the mix. It's fucking awesome. The guitars, really low tuned, really pronounced in time with each other. And there's nothing, in, in, in there's nothing that goes off the rails from what I can hear. If you're a fan of Nile, if you're a fan of Morbid, if you're a fan of Cannibal, if you're a fan of even some even some black metal in there it's there this will fulfill the need that you you know that you're craving trust me nothing is going to be better than this 
Um, and for death metal within the last little while, probably the last good death metal record that I heard coming out of this side of the, this side of the fucking, you know, country, um, was Discord, uh, Corrupt, you know, Corrupted Innocence. And really that was more of a death trash record. If there's anybody else that's got something better, fucking send it to me or fucking get a hold of me so I can review the shit. Based on right now, because it's a demo, I'm still going to give it a four out of five based on song structures, mixing, um, how well, the, how well everything sounds currently, even though in the state that I've received it in, it's fucking still killer because as I say, anything that Jeremy and Justin do is going to be fucking gold and Kenneth well fucking done, kid. You took two vo two death metal vocalists that I think are the are, are in my personal opinion the best, and you fucking nailed it, kid. Well fucking done. Keep it up and don't fucking stop what you boys are doing. I'm stoked and I can't wait to see you. I can't wait to see you live, whenever that is, as we know. And whenever I get my new band, I would love to fucking open a gig with you, dudes. Thanks, boys. Cheers. <laughs>